ash borers, terrible invasive pests from Asia are killing our ashes. And one of the solutions that has been suggested is to plant uh, Asian ash species that are resistant to the emerald ash borer. Uh, and that makes a lot of sense, uh, except we have to remember why we want our ashes to be in our landscape to begin with. Ashes are very valuable trees. There are 95 species of insects that specialize on ashes. Uh, lots of birds depend on the seeds. They're really ecologically important. Uh, so if we bring in ash species from other countries, they may be resistant to the borer, but they won't perform the roles that our native ashes perform because our insects won't be able to eat them. Uh, so, so yes, you will have ash trees, but they won't, they, they'll be non-native plants that are not supporting uh, particularly many of the, the sphinx moths, the big sphinx moths that are the primary diet of cardinals, for example, can't develop on Asian ashes. What I would love to see is that we discover which of our, um, our American, North American ash trees, individuals, have resistance to uh, emerald ash borer. Uh, and we are discovering some, some resistant species. There are places in Michigan that have been under attack from the emerald ash borer for uh, a number of years now, and there's still some ashes that have survived. So that's, that's very encouraging. Even though it's gonna be a very small percentage of our ashes, probably less than 1%, if we cut them all down, or if we plant ashes from Asia, we're never gonna discover the native ashes that are actually resistant to the borer. Those are the ones that we need to replace all the, the, the um, susceptible individuals with. It'll, it'll take years to do that, but um, we made a huge mistake with the American chestnut. When the chestnut blight came, we logged all of them and lost the opportunity to find those few individuals that had resistance in it. We don't want to make that same mistake with the, with the ash. So we should keep planting American ashes uh, and, and discover those ones which do not die from the emerald ash borer and then propagate those.